Hi everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you two libraries to do file uploads that can help your user to have a better experience while uploading the file. So I'm going to show you the demo and how I'm implemented with Superbase storage as well. But you can use this one with any other storage that you have. All right, so let's get started. So the first library that I'm using is FilePond. So I'm going to show you the demo first and then we can go into the documentation and talk more about it. So this is a FilePond library and you can see we can do drag and drop and then we can do like browse the file as well. Right now I'm going to choose the file right here. So for example, I'm choosing one of the file right here. So I'm choosing this one. We can do select all of this one as well. So for example, I choose this one and you can see we have the image preview and we have the percentage of the image is complete or not and things like that. And when it's complete, it show you green. And so for example, I try to upload again. So this is, and then if we have an error, so as you can see, we have the red right here to give a uh, user. Okay, there's now there's something wrong with this one. Okay, great. So this one is called re, uh, file pond. And as you can go into the documentation, so it's its JavaScript library that can be upload anything and anywhere. It's also fast as well. This is what the document said. And the good thing about this library is that you can integrate it with any front-end framework that you have so for example you you can use it with react Vue, swell angular and jquery right here and to add it with this one you can go into the documentation on how to do it so for example i'm going to show you the installation and right here for example we're using with react and we can click on react right here and this is uh, they show you how to do it as well so we install this one and the thing about this one is that as you can see with this component it will require you to have the server right here so the server right here will link to the server that responsible for the file so for example if you have your backend that responsible for the file upload and you slash the endpoint like this so when you drop the file it will call to that endpoint which is right here this is going to be slash api right here and, but you can just change this uh, to any endpoint that you have. And yeah, so, but if, for example, if you do not have uh, the endpoint the server, if we can override this one as well. So to do that, we can go into the documentation of the server right here. It will show you of the server configuration to let's like, say what function you can use, what endpoint you can use and things like that. So for example, if i scroll down right here so you can see for this is a server configuration we have a uh, five function to do different action and each of the function you can link it to a different endpoint that you have or we can override it by writing the function for it so i think we can go into the advanced right here so you can see for the process right here so the process function is where when the file is dropped or when you click on upload uh, this is where this function is going to call so this is you can see this is not linked to any endpoint but it's like uh, implementation that you can call to your storage endpoint for example right here you can see uh, this one right here we can just change this url to the endpoint of the what we want for example you have aws or superbase storage and things like that you can just open and change this one right here all right so this is how you do it and also this path right here it will keep the progress like the percentage of the file, how many percentages has been uploaded and things like that. Great. So right now, let me show you how I implement this one with Superbase. I'm going to show you the code. It's not very really different. It's very similar. So we go into the VS code right here and the page is file pun. You can grab the code from the link in the description as well. And we scroll down right here. We, I have this function process right here it's not much a difference from the documentation um and the thing what i just changed i just changed the url right here i just changed it to my superbase storage bucket so right now i have the bucket name right here and this is a file name and then so right here i need to have the authorization for so to make sure that connection from my app to superbase is uh, valid so right here i use the anon key but if you're working with a real world application make sure you double check your policy and probably not doing something like this all right so the other than that it just leave it from the documentation and doing this one will give me the right percentage of the progress also for this one you can just entirely not writing this one you can if you have the client library to handle for it so for example with superbase they have the storage client library that you can just call superbase from storage and then upload file like that but if you're doing that the pro progress or percentage will not be accurate 
so it can be done like that as well but the percentage is not accurate so by doing this way it, the percentage is accurate all right so that's pretty much it so for the falcon it's a great library and yeah so all right now let's take a look at another library okay for the second library that i use is called rp so let me show you what the demo look like so rp as you can see this is the basic ui that come from it you can customize it as well and uh, the good thing about this one you can plug in the source that you have so for example you can plug in your camera so this one will click and open your camera and also you can do track uh, the file so right now let let me show you the demo so right now let's click on this file right here i'm going to choose this file and then also this file as well can sell this one so you can see we have two files right now and you can click upload you can see the percentage also you can pass the file and things like that they can sell as well and also the good thing about rp is that if when file is being uploaded you can navigate between the page and the file is still being uploaded as well so if you for example it, this one again so i click on this one and i click on open maybe i'm gonna add more file right here so right now when i uploading this one i can navigate to the home page and i have, i come back so as you can see because the the speed here is fast the file is small it's upload complete but as you can see this is really good thing when you can navigate between two page and also you can the upload is still being there all right great right now let's take a look at the documentation of this library and this is like you can go to api i left the link in the description as well so first of all this can be integrated into any framework you want you can see we have angular react swell view you can just click on any framework that you have uh, that you use and then you can use it uh, for example i'm using with react so this is the documentation on how to do it and also for this one they also have like the um, uploader this is where you can use so you can use the hhr request or you can do task or aws for the way that you, you use and also for this demo that i used before i used the task right here so this one is allow us to do pass the file upload and then resume it so i will show you the code in uh later all right, so this is documentation is really great and you can go into this one and use it and also they have the dashboard uh, also they have the image editor as well which is great and the status bar or the progress bar right here okay so right now let me show you the code on how i use this one with superbase okay so going back here let's go to api so right now as you can see this is where i install everything that's needed and then i just use the dashboard from the api react and then i need to pass the api so right here i create the custom hook to use api because the, because what i want is i wanted to the files being can be able to upload while the user navigate the page so to do that we need to lift the state lift the state up to the parent so um, it, it's gonna go into the layout right here where i create the api provider uh, it's gonna be it's gonna just react context and if we navigate into the api provider mainly just set up the api and using the plug in the uh, the uploader uh, you can see right here we have the um the task or hh or something like that all right so right here i'm using with the task and right here i just use it with the super base endpoint so right now I can click on this one so you can see this is how to use task with super base endpoint you can just do storage v1 upload resemble and this is the bucket name and right now let's going back right here Basically, we are adding the, the authorized header to make the connection uh, authorized. And then this is just another plugin that I use for webcam. And this is on file. So basically, and then I can pass the API right here. So right now, inside my application, they can use this state. So when the user navigate, we can still keep track of the upload. Okay. This is very simple code. And also for this one as you can see we have a lot of source that you can use you can use a webcam you can use the audio you can use the box the drop box anything right here all right so yeah i think this two library is great to do file uploads and so i think that pretty much it so in the next video we're going to use one of this one to build more real world applications and so right now i can just show you the demo that this is uh, what it's look like is it how it's possible what problem that it can be solved and so let me know in the comment what do you think about this two library and 
okay so don't forget to like this video and thank you for watching and see you in the next video